Hi y'all. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, y'all. So I'm gonna pull some cards and just get a message out for y'all. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I hope everybody is happy, healthy, and safe, of course. And yeah, we just gonna jump right into the video for y'all, okay? I'm not gonna just ramble on too long for y'all, right? And the reading is in general, so just take whatever resonates, leave what doesn't. I don't know, I'm being compelled to say this, so I said it. You got the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles coming out together, starting off pretty strong. You got the Ace of Cups coming out as well. You got the Four of Swords. You got the Ten of Swords, okay. You got the Queen of Cups. You got the Four of Pentacles. And you have the Ace of Swords. Love to see the Ace of Swords in the beginning like that. You got heavy Gemini energy, air sign energy. You got the Emperor at the bottom as well, okay? So you could definitely be a masculine watching, if not a, a man. <laughs> watching as well someone has hope for something i'm gonna clarify but someone is still holding on to hope when it pertains to something um it could be an opportunity with the ace of pentacles but this also could be regarding love with the ace of cups what's this ten of swords with the temperance like it's almost like one of those things where someone is coming to some sort of energy where they're like all right with some sort of like ending okay but whatever the ending was it didn't like destroy your hope for other opportunities to come towards you if not it being love okay with the four wands now at the bottom and excuse the little noises in the background they playing it was not playing until i pressed record okay <laughs> now they want to play what's the nine of pentacles you got the ten of wands coming out and you also do have the five of wands okay can i get one more what's the nine of pentacles you got two more. You got the hangman and the chariot coming out, okay? With the seven of swords at the bottom. This is some interesting energy, I feel like. Very, very interesting energy. Especially if you are, like, up in age. I want you, I want you to know, like, hope is not, like, lost. Like, I don't... Because it definitely is giving something about age. Like, someone is worried about some sort of, like, time running out for them to establish some sort of like lifestyle or have some sort of like sort of love that they can like showcase almost not like in a bad way but it's like it's something about a clock someone's someone feels like time is running out you got cancer energy out here pisces as well heavy water sign energy heavy water sign energy the only thing you're really missing is scorpio but heavy water sign energy It's something with this Nine of Pentacles, though. Can I get one more with the Nine of Pentacles? Because what's the Five of Wands in the, with the Sun? Uh, what's this Queen of Cups? I ain't going on. Yeah, you got the Lovers. This is some interesting energy today. What's the Queen of Cups with the Lovers? You got the Three of Swords, you got the World, and a card did fall on the floor. You got the two of cups. <laughs> I feel like you have, especially online, I feel like you have people who possibly seen you quote unquote glow up. You, you, it was people that seen you lose in a sense. You had people who seen you win in a sense with the emperors at the bottom of the deck. Um, and to start off, we did have the emperor. So no matter if you are masculine, feminine, no matter if you um, are a man or woman, People seen you handle your losses almost like with grace. Um, even if you cried, you screamed, you kicked, you yelled, you punched, whatever. Um, you have people, I feel like in your immediate circle, your immediate surroundings, who see you kind of as like a tough cookie, especially with the five of wands and the ten of wands. It's almost like you laugh at adversity almost, and that's how some people see you. Whether you literally laugh at it first year or not, people see you as someone who is not troubled by mishaps, basically. Like you don't dwell on things that don't go your way for too long. And especially not now, it's almost like you've learned how to ride this wave of almost like, 
understanding life's natural ups and downs, basically. Like, everything's not going to go your way. You get what I'm saying? And everything is not going to not go your way forever. Like, you're understanding that life is life, and sometimes life can be lifing, but you're okay with finding a balance when need be as well. Like, I'm not, mm, we got to pull some more. We got to pull some more. I don't want to not make sense. <laughs> you got heavy Gemini energy out here as well. Heavy fixed sign energy too. Taurus, Scorpio, um, Leo, and Aquarius. What's this Ace of Pentacles? Oh, you have the strength show his face. I believe that was the strength. What's this Ace of Pentacles? You got the two of wands coming out with the star. Yeah, what's this Ace of Pentacles? With the four of cups. People see that you are not, yeah, with the five of pentacles, leaving yourself out in the cold anymore either. Like, it's something towards, like, people, I don't know, it's something about people taking you more seriously as well. People see that you see that you are some sort of, like, quote-unquote chosen child, the token, the token child, the token friend as well. Like, I don't know, I'm being, I feel like an opportunity is really about to showcase itself to someone. This is Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you got, the, mm, you got the Page of Wands, the Three of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. It's almost given like a birthright as well. And it's something that's going to bring you a lot of stability. A lot of stability, a lot of new characters, new friends with this Page of Pentacles, Three of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. This is almost given like a soul family type of like energy, people who are kin to you almost so whatever field you're in is almost like those people are chasing after similar dreams as you as well like people who will understand you get you people who won't outcast you as well people who won't see you as different like these people that you're about to meet as well especially whatever this opportunity is they're like-minded individuals they're not people to try to finesse you um cloud chase off of you like everybody in this circle or in this environment has a name for themselves and you'll be making one as well. Hopefully that makes it with the emperor now back at the bottom. This is really good. What's this for a pinnacles? Don't hold yourself back. Yeah, with the nine of swords, especially with some sort of opportunity. Now be mindful, not every opportunity will, with the nine. Someone could have even been born in the year 99 as well, or nine could be significant, okay? Um, but basically what I was saying was don't sell yourself short with this four of pinnacles and the nine of swords. Because again, I feel like something won't go as smoothly or won't go your way because of you getting in the way. I want that to be clear as well. Like right now is not an energy where anybody's getting in your way. Like I feel like you've kind of handled that. And even if you don't feel like you fully did or fully got people who you deem as like troublesome out of your life, that soon shall pass. Like that energy we're passing that it feels like, honestly. Like it's something with not harping on past incidents, not holding on past traumas as well. It's hard, but yeah, with the um, Eight of Wands and the Everything is Fine card. Let me see. What's the Four of uh, Pentacles with the Nine of Swords? With the Knight of Pentacles? I need some more. What is that? With the King of Cups coming out now. And the Knight of Swords coming out in reverse. Yeah, it's something that you're going to really, really love to do. Some sort of opportunity is really going to bring itself forth to you, especially if you're working on something. Of course, the opportunity is not going to just fall out of the sky. Like, you got to put some sort of work in with the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom. But I, whatever you're doing right now, I would honestly say continue to do it um, the same way you were doing it. I wouldn't change anything too drastically. If anything, if you have different ideas that will better something that you were doing, better your work um, performance as well, do that. But don't become stagnant or do less of your work because something will start to fade kind of like a way. You will fade kind of like a way. I would, I would maintain some sort of way of doing something because it's, it's working in your favor. What is this Knight of Swords in reverse though? Let's With the Page of Pentacles. This is the Knight of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. You got the Tower. What's the Knight of Swords? Can reverse? 
You got the four. Trying to bite my cores all the time, girl. You got the Queen of Pentacles coming out in reverse with the Fool as well. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. You have, you do have energies who feel inadequate to you. What's this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Like stable, unstable energies with the Six of Wands coming out as well and the Page of Swords and these people are watching you. These could be old friends as well, old colleagues, people you were just close to, people you could still talk to now. You know, you don't have to be in a position where you cut off everybody, you get what I'm saying? But these people, whether you deem them to be successful or not, they don't feel as successful as you or as you will be. And someone is like watching your success, watching you blossom as well, watching you almost kind of like step into your own just your own in general, like loving the way you look, loving the skin you're in, whether you're, you know, you're 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 on the plus side, you're on the you're more on the thinner side, you're light, you're dark, you 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 go natural, you you're not natural, whatever the case may be. Someone's seeing you just be able to kind of like manifest, really, with the seven of cups. Like whoever this person is, or people as well, because this could be a community with the Ten of Pentacles coming out very early, especially with the world, people who are just watching you like online. People don't see you as someone current day who is struggling or is struggling as much as you were at one point in time. And they're actually very, not even envious. It's almost like a secret applaudance for you. I want to be completely honest with you. What's this for with the uh, Queen of Pentacles in reverse? You got the Four of Wands coming out and you got the King of Swords. And again, we're going to tap into that because that could be what the Ace of Cups is. What's this Ace of Cups? This is a lot of different energies with the Justice coming out and the Nine of Cups as well. What's this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? You got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And what's this for? You got the Knight of Wands. What's the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? It's not trying to talk to me today. With the Queen of Swords, someone could be going through a divorce. Someone you know close to you as well. Someone is like comparing you to somebody with the Everything is Fine card. Like someone, no matter if you're an air sign or not, someone is seeing you as a better fit match or option when it comes to like their romantic life or who they want to connect to. It definitely is giving more romantic with the four of wands. Can I get one more? What's the queen of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, you got the eight of cups as well with the will of fortune. I feel like somebody's about to walk away from somebody else to kind of like free themselves to come towards you, especially if this didn't happen already. And it's because they see kind of like who you are, like your light as well, yes, but they like your work ethic, like it's your work ethic. It's, it's, you could be a big dreamer as well. Someone really likes that, they adore it. Someone likes the fact that you go after the things that you honestly like want. Like you're not afraid to put yourself out there. Like I can't, like I used to be that way. Like people are really terrified to kind of be in the front if that makes like sense. And not a lot of people want to be. Like that's the thing as well. It's not even a thing about being a furry. Some people genuinely don't even want to be seen and that is okay too. That's why, you know, you got some people who really work in the workforce doing nine to five and that's okay too as well. And it still goes, the, it's it's for the same. It's, it's no difference in that either. But someone really loves the fact that you're like very innovative. Like you're different in a sense. Like you're not, the same, you're not chasing after the same dreams. You're not just wanting to be seen as well. Like you actually, it's love and something that you do. It's felt, it's seen. With the Eight of Pentacles, work. Someone really loves your work. Your work, like it's love. You put a lot of love into something that you do. And again, it's, it's seen, it's being seen. Is being seen. What's this Ace of Cups? Can I get one more for this Ace of Cups? Because we got the Justice and the Nine of Cups for it. But let's just see. You got the Everything is Fine card with the Two of Swords. I don't feel like this is your Ace of Cups. I feel like someone is going through a breakup. Someone's going through a breakup. 
Now, take the energy how it resonates, but especially if this is, oh, no, I'm not going through. That's fine. Like, you don't have to comment that because I don't feel like that's your Ace of Cups. With the Empress coming out and the Three of Wands, like, someone's waiting to be able to approach an Empress if it's not you. You get what I'm saying? With the strength as well, and they feel like right now they're being held back. They're being blocked as well, and it's because they have to sort out something with someone who's very codependent with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> now, you know how I feel about that. Go drink some water. He'll play so much that he get out of breath. Go ahead. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Forgetting I'm doing this too. What's this three of wands with the empress? What did that? You got Scorpio energy and a judgment. What's the three of wands with the empress? With the Ten of Cups. So what is the death? Someone has watched you transform. I don't know. Because what reason was that? It was somebody I just did too. I think it was Scorpio. And it said, you got to, with the death. And I said, you got a secret admirer. You got the strength card coming out as well. Because I feel like this is either someone you work with, someone you grew up with as well. This is someone who was, who was able to see you. No matter if you just, literally with the moon. This is a hidden person, I feel like. Especially with this Ace of Cups, King of Swords. King, queen of swords because if you're a man watching this is someone who either works with you especially if you put yourself online as well it's, it's not getting creepy I, I do want to say that but it's definitely someone who has a watchful eye for you and they've seen you grow they've seen you surpass like different milestones as well they've seen you honestly got better at something that you were doing too and they're very impressed this is somebody who's very impressed they're very impressed and I do feel like if someone doesn't have like a baby's mama, baby's dad, that's very cool, dependent on them, they have like some sort of ex or someone they went towards. Like this could have been someone who was attracted to that too, a low vibrational like energy, like they wanted to feel needed. There's somebody who really wanted to feel needed by like their partner until this, I'm going to be honest, until they came across you or they seen you or met you because you could know who this person is as well already. And it's something to where it's like this person likes the fact that you are a woman, a man of standard. Like you don't, I don't need you to take care of me. You could give me stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like we could go 50 50 or when it's date night, you could pay one that I'll pay one. To, like, you know, and even if you do want somebody who does all that, this person knows that that will be your choice. Like you want to be doted on or cared for wouldn't be something that you automatically are wanting from a partner. You get what I'm, hopefully that's making like sense. Like someone likes the fact that whether they're there or not, you're good, you're okay. You are not looking for someone, for a handout basically. And that's the, the difference between someone else they went towards with that fool and the queen of pentacles in reverse. What's the fool with the queen of pentacles in reverse? Let me get one more for that. Like, whoever that person is, they feel like that person is blocking them. A blessing, literally, with the Ace of Wands and their creativity. With the Eight of Wands. It's like they feel like they're part... Uh. Can I get one more? With the Page of Cups in the fight, yeah. They feel like that person is blocking, like, some sort of download. Some sort of um, alchemist type of, like, or alchemy. Alchemist type of, like, energy, excuse me manifestation energy as well with the eight of swords they're like keeping them trapped stuck like this person can't focus they can't try to manifest they can't be creative with, with whoever this person is and I'm like, nah, 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 nah. like it's somebody who's <laughs> really into like it feels like like if not drama is gossip like it's someone who is not helpful or creative in a sense like they're whoever someone is connected to they're mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Like, there's no hobbies. This person doesn't do nothing but sit under this king or queen of swords person that wants to come towards you or make themselves known to you. What's this strength? With the devil. They feel like that person is like some sort of block to them. What's this strength with the devil? You got Leo, Capricorn energy. With the six of swords. And you got the knight of cups. And they made some sort of offer to that person with the two of pentacles. What's this eight of pentacles? You got the, yeah. 
not saying you are a part of a third party, but yeah, like someone that wants to come towards you, they're like, conf I don't know what is going on. Why does this person feel like, I still gotta clarify the Ace of Swords too. So let me not waste all these cards. You got the Five of Cups coming out in reverse. They feel like someone is like very unforgiving with the Nine of Wands. Like I feel like someone is low-key afraid of, someone I feel like gave another person too much power to the point where it's like they're afraid of leaving someone because they're afraid of what like what someone is going to expose and or like say about them especially if it's like pictures involved these people got boom boom tapes if you get what i'm saying like they record it with one another um scammed and stuff yeah but it's more so pictures like i don't know it's something about pictures like someone's terrified of like not really like really departing from another person not going on a break not creating a third party situation because someone does not want to create a third party situation that's the thing but i feel like they have done that before like whoever someone is tied to outside of you very negative it's a, it was it was a very negative attachment the two of these people had together almost like it could have been like a trauma bond situation like they liked it and whoever this Queen of Pentacles in reverse energy was very codependent. They allowed this person to do whatever and knew this person was going to come back or if they called out to them or needed them. Like it, it was, I feel like this is very messy, very bad. But I also feel like whoever this person is that would want to work on some sort of relationship with you has to figure that situation out. Because again, with the Five of Cups in reverse, I feel like someone is very unforgiving. Like they won't care. Like this person won't care to expose things, put things out, especially not on the internet. This person, yeah. Mm. And that's what someone's afraid of. What's this Five of Cups in reverse? With the Seven of Cups. With the Queen of Wands coming out as well. What's this Seven of Cups with the Queen of Wands? With the King of Wands. Very lustful relationship. These two people have something full with illusions as well. It's filled with illusions. Filled with the Hierophant. You got Taurus energy out here with the Emperor. What is going on? This is not bad energy. I feel like some you have someone coming towards you who is growing up the same way you possibly learned lessons with like life, friends, lovers as well. Someone I feel like, especially if you're trying to manifest a lover. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to fix my, my sock. <laughs> What's this emperor? What the mach if you're trying to manifest a lover, I definitely feel like yes. Mm-hmm. This person is growing through some lessons right now. They're learning different things, not only about the world, but about themselves. And I feel like they're learning to be authentic too. Like this was someone who was very, very stuck in some low vibrational like weight. Like they were very, very 3D bound. Like this was someone who did not have like some sort of like faith, religion, any type of spirituality. Like they just, they did whatever they felt like was going to keep them afloat almost well liked as well like they definitely tried to keep up with the Joneses whoever this person was what's this emperor with the magician with the high priestess what's this uh, ace of swords you got the seven of pentacles as well what's this ace of swords and you got the moon I would say continue to do what you're doing like it literally with this like i can't with the hermit as well especially if you're laying low you're minding your business you could just be like you're literally doing your thing like i don't know how, like this is a completely different story than what i'm like used to honestly but because it's so to the point with the seven of swords Because people from your past, old friends, old just connections in general, people you used to just know, they, you have a very unbothered energy to these people right now. Very unbothered. Like people are wondering where you're at, what you're doing. <laughs> Excuse me. How you're doing as well. What's this for, sword? I can't even explain how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> It's really good energy with the seven of wands and the eight of swords. 
This is not you with the King of Pentacles in reverse. Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like, a, is it third person? It's, it's not third person. With the Seven of Swords and the King of Pentacles in reverse coming out. With the Nine of Wands, someone feels completely... Someone does not like where they're at in life right now. And I'm not saying... Because it could be a thing of the past as well. And when I'm... Basically, what I mean is someone's trying to get their life together. Okay? And I definitely do feel like it's to come towards you. It's to come towards you. And this person I doubt is a earth sign. It could be an earth sign. Take that how it resonates. But with the king and queen of pentacles coming out together, that is a match where two people are not on the same vibration. At, like, it's terrible. Like, whatever connection it is, it is terrible. Financially romantic. Like, it's literally just for stability. And these people barely have that. Okay? Hmm. And I feel like someone is aware of that. Someone is thinking about that. Like someone wants to get out of something that they are already like in with someone else. It's very unpredictable. And someone feels like they're only getting older. That's where they're clocked in. Like, I don't, someone feels like time is literally passing them by and they're wasting it. They're wasting time with someone they, they are connected to. We're gonna try to see what else comes out. All right, y'all. Can I get some different energy, please? I got the emperor coming out again, okay? I don't know who this person wants to make themselves known with the king of pentacles coming up upright now. You got the emperor coming out, the king of pentacles upright. You got the three of cups coming out as well. You got the ten of cups. You got the will of the for will of fortune, but it says the will of the year. Then you also do have the five of cups coming out now upright. You have the seven of wands. And you do have the five of wands. Someone is like trying to keep somebody from you, possibly with the hermit. Heavy Virgo energy, Aries. Now, take it how it resonates, but this could definitely be like a twin flame reading. Take that how it resonates. I got my own opinions about twin flames, so take that how, or like a soulmate. This is something where someone feels drawn to you, and I don't really like doing readings to be all, like give off a vibe where it's like a super type of like fantasy type of like thing, but I can't lie about the energy. Like this is someone who feels like they are being called to you. Or they will feel like they're being called to you. What's this three of cups? With the tower coming out and you have the justice. And these two came out, I think, together. For, no, they didn't. No, they didn't. I think, no, they didn't. They came out, but they didn't come out together. What's the justice with the tower for the three of cups? With the knight swords you're gonna be very surprised at the person that takes action on you and almost like why what's this king of pentacles with the seven of cups coming out in reverse like someone is not here to cast like illusions as well like they're not going to want any of that this could even be same sex too take that how it resonates because I remember the last time I said that, I don't know if I said it in the video, but last time I like said that, somebody like really, like people was really making it a thing to let people know they're not gay. And it's just like, because I believe that reading was like an hour long to, I don't, <laughs> that reading I did last time, it was like an hour long. And I remember bringing up like same sex. And it was like a handful of people that was like really making it known that they're not gay. And it's just like, babe, first of all, no one cares. <laughs> And if you have to do all that, denial is is, is, is is whooping your ass right now. What's this King of Pentacles? Because nobody cares. 
You got the King of Swords could definitely be same sex. And if not, what's this King of Pentacles with the King of Swords? You got the Four of Swords coming out as well. The Temperance with the Sun. What is going on? Is the Emperor, the King of Swords, and the King of Pentacles the same person? You got the Three of Wands coming out, the Three of Swords. 33 could be significant, the Ten of Swords with the world. I would say, yeah, there's a possibility all three of those energies are the same. And I feel like this is somebody who's maturing. They're learning a lot of lessons with the Ten of Pentacles. What's the Three of Wands with the Three of Swords? With the Queen of Swords coming out, for sure. With the Nine of Wands, this person is very hesitant to approach you. It's a card right under this, too. With the Shadow side, someone's learning a lot of lessons. A lot of lessons. And I feel like they've seen you undergo a lot as well, or they, they assume you have. We can definitely say that. What's the Shadow side? With the Nine of Swords. This is somebody who's learning a lot of lessons. Could even be a feminine, a woman even, that's going through this as well. But whoever this energy is, they are coming out on the other side, knowing what they want as well. With the Four of Pentacles, what's this Five of Cups? With the Ace of Cups. This is somebody who does not want to miss out on an opportunity with you. And I feel like it's because they see how well, like how you're on top of the will. Like someone feels like they see you on top of the will and they can see themselves on top of it with you. They feel like y'all would, y'all just... Y'all would work. You and his per I don't know. Mm, with the six of cups, it's definitely given like a soulmate. Someone who feels called to be with you. There's a a a, a familiar energy, a familiar I can't even get it out. Yeah, it's just it's a familiar energy this person feels with you. If you know the word I'm trying to say, it's familiar, but I'm not trying to butcher that word. I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's almost like knowing you. Like this person feels like they they are y'all going to feel like y'all already knew each other, like it's going to be almost like quote unquote weird. Like if you were to go and talk to your friends about somebody new that you met, you would literally say it feels like I've known them already or met them before. And on a soul level, you had you would have you would have been. You definitely would have met this person already on a soul level. What's this seven of wands? Damn. You got the chariot. What's the seven of wands in the chariot? You got the two of pentacles coming out. The seven of pentacles, the five of swords. Ah, this was a lot. The karma card, the high priest. And you got the two of wands. The seven of wands, you got the two of wands, the high priest, the karma card, the five of swords, the seven of pentacles, and the two of pentacles. What's this high priest? You got the strength with the five of pentacles. What's this high priest? You got the magician. What's the Five of Pentacles? You got the Moon. And what's the Moon? With the Eight of Swords. When I say somebody is like really, really unhappy right now with the star, from what I have no idea and the only thing I could really assume or the, especially the only thing I'm really getting is they're connected to someone that they don't want to be connected to, especially with the stars giving off of more like a healing energy, a praying energy. Like, please, I hope like this person's still single. Like someone want, like, I don't know how deep somebody is in something. Like they could have a child, they could have been married. Those type of things are more difficult to, I feel like, to detach from, especially if they've been with this person for like years. That's, 
it's hard. Um, I could only imagine that could be very, very tough because that's time put in. You get what I'm saying? And I feel like someone is stuck between a rock and a hard place, especially with that two of pentacles coming out as well, because this person They know letting an old person go is letting go in an old version of themselves. And I do feel like someone's afraid of what a new version of them kind of like looks like. They're ready for it, though. That's why I'm like, this is somebody who's really manifesting change. But it's something about them being stuck on the past. Like, they're still going to hurt having to let something or someone go. And it definitely is given a relationship. Like, this person cares for that person. Like, it was love in that situation. It was love in that situation with the nine of cups definitely comfortable it was loving that situation what's this uh eight of swords to those nine of cups with the knight of cups someone is stuck on the idea of coming to i cannot get over it with the knight of pentacles and it could feel like a long time coming especially if you've been single for a while and not saying you're chasing love or that could not even be something that you're focused on right now because i feel like that's why something's about to like hit you because you're doing your thing. Like, this is about someone. I'm going to be completely honest with you. This re reading won't resonate with you if you don't feel like you're doing your thing. Like, you're doing, you're handling your responsibilities. You're going to work. You're, you got hobbies. You, you're still going out. Like, you're still enjoying your life while healing and, and just, like, getting your energy back on track. You could be journaling as well. And if not even journaling, you could um type, like, in a laptop how you feel or put it in your notes and, like, your phone as well. But I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you. This energy may not be for you if you're not focused on your own well-being. Because I feel like this energy of a new lover coming in for you is going to hit you way off guard. And I feel like it's going to be how you meet them. Like it's something with how you meet this person. Especially if you didn't already. But even if you did, like something's going to catch you completely off guard by who this person is. It's going to catch you really, 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 really off guard. Because I, I was hesitant to say this either, but I doubt it's someone from your past. I'm going to be completely honest with you, especially someone who really, really hurt you. Like, I, I'm going to be honest. I doubt it's that person. It's someone who you could have met before you met someone who you deemed as like a twin flame or that relationship that would like really hurt you. It's someone who's grown a lot or you haven't seen in a long time. Like, whoever this energy is, is someone you haven't seen in a long, long time. A long time. And this person is going to really tell you, like, a lot of things that they've kind of, like, been through, what they've been putting up with as well. Like, basically how life has just been for them with the Ten of Pentacles. With the Four coming out as well. You got the Queen of Wands, the Pages. So this person watches you with the Four of Pentacles. This person's very attracted to you. I feel like, and that's something that's never changed. Never changed. Even if you blew up now or you, you're doing way better for yourself, literally with the, with the tender, like someone's like horny. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to say that, but that's what I was getting from like the Queen of Wands, the Ten of Wands. Like someone's trying to keep their composure. Like someone really, really wants you in their bedroom like <laughs> um take your time with it you know what i'm saying but someone's very hot like very hot like very hot for you um and again whoever this energy is they've been attracted to you from the moment they've seen you from the moment they've seen you someone could like lilies it's a lily Someone also could like diamonds. Someone name could be diamond. It's something about a diamond. And this person could have, you You are like the definition of a diamond in the rough. Like someone is very like happy for you, proud of you. Like someone really has like a love for you. What's this queen of wands? With the six of swords, I'm telling you. Especially if you're like a man, you gotta literally with Ace of Wands, especially if you're a man, this woman, <laughs> she, 
she wants some. <laughs> she wants some. And vice kind of like versa. Like somebody wants some. They want some. Bad. You're going to get off of that though. Because Jesus. What's the fool? Like they wanted that to be said. This is someone you going to. Y'all going to be passionate all right. <laughs> With the hermit. What's this fool in the hermit? coming out with a star this is something that you're going to be very like deserving of very deserving of i can't put my finger on this read and this was a very very different one with the knight of wands filled with a lot of passion a lot of passion because this is all about you and how someone views you like someone really loves something that you're doing how seriously you're taking something as well like they love it. Like they love the fact that you t you treat work like your baby. Like there's someone who really considers you as like a boss. Even if you work under someone, even if you're not the actual boss, someone loves the fact that you go out and you get it. You get it for yourself. You spend time with family, most likely friends. You take care of yourself. Like someone really loves the fact that you, like you're someone that this person will like be proud to kind of like be seen with bring home to their family as well like you're you're the upgrade in through someone's eyes what's this lovers in the star you got gemini energy um aquarius as well with the queen of cups y'all and we started with that i believe in the first deck on the uh first spread i mean she came out early in the first spread someone like because I'm not about to cry on screen. That's a lot. But <laughs> someone just looks at you as like a complete package. Like, child, this is not a fantasy. Mm. What's the queen of wands and the queen of cups? What's the queen of wands? The queen of wands and the queen of cups. Someone loves like how soft you are, romantic you are with the four of wands and the eight of pentacles. <laughs> With the Six of Pentacles, somebody is going to give you exactly what you want. No, I don't know. Okay, now. Okay. Somebody got to teach me their manifestation skills, because who you manifesting? God himself, okay? You about to have God love on you? <laughs> Jesus. Because it's actually giving a very romantic vibe. It's very romantic. It's very warm. It's a warmthness. It's a very loved. It's like a very sweet. And it's going to be very different because I feel like this person who is coming towards you is either they haven't been this way in a very, very long time or they've never gone. Like the way this person is going to be with you is either they haven't, people haven't seen this person feel this smitten or be this smitten in a very long time where they've never been this smitten at all before. Like, people are going to see it. Like, this is all about you. Like, this is all about you. I just want to encourage you to continue to do what you're doing, especially when it comes to caring for thyself, like really taking care of yourself. Because someone is amazed by it. No matter if you're the feminine or the masculine, like someone's amazed at how well you embody that energy for yourself. Because for some reason, other people that they see embody a feminine or a masculine energy, it's distorted. It's distorted. Like this person feels like they have problems, <laughs> especially romantically, like whoever goes towards which whichever energy, those energies that they date or they come across or they just try to get to know, they feel like they're like, crazy bad shit crazy as well like they feel like they have problems problems that they're not trying to figure out or like fix or get the proper healing for and they feel like you are if not did if you know you know healing is a forever journey so nobody's really ever done heal you're never done healing i'm be 81 still healing child <laughs> 
you're never really done healing, but there's somebody who loves the fact that you put in their work and they kind of see it. Like they see it through like blessings that's coming towards you, especially the line of work that you do as well. They see that you help people. Like there's somebody who sees like, you're actually happy. Like you're happy. Like, what are you doing? Like you're, ha you're happy. Like this person sees you being genuinely happy, especially with your work. You could be a counselor as well. Some sort of guide, especially for youth or people in like need, people who need the guidance. Like this person feels like you would be a great counselor, guidance counselor, some sort of counselor, marriage counselor as well. Like you, you a humanitarian. There's something about being a humanitarian. Like this person adores it. Like they also feel like you would be a great mother or a father. Like this person feels like you'd be a very nurturing. Like this person feels like you are very, very nurturing. And you know when to take that head on and when to take that head off and be like professional and know how to delegate different things and just talk to people and be professional with that king and queen of swords. Then you have the queen of cups and the king of cups. Like this person, queen of wands. Like this person feels like you embody a lot of different energies and you know exactly when to take those different heads on and put on the other one and keep a player. Like you know how to keep it cute. <laughs> What's this Eight of Pentacles with this Four of Wands? I'm about to end it though, y'all. With the Ace of Swords. And we're going to end it there with the Page of Cups. I definitely do feel like y'all going to have... Somebody's going to have someone now. You have the Page of Cups, the High Priestess, the Three of Pentacles. What's the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Wands with the Ace of... You got the Hangman. Yeah, they tell me to shut up. <laughs> let me... Let me... Yeah, they telling me to shut up. You got the Four of Cups. All right, yo, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> it was supposed to end there with the Seven. It was supposed to end there. Um... I really don't even have no words for this, y'all. I'm not about to pull words on my ass. I, again, I don't feel like this is going to... If you're not in an energy of really self-reflecting and really honestly caring for yourself, especially right now, like, you, this is someone who's on top of their game. I want to be completely honest with you. This is not somebody who is still stuck on someone from the past, pretending that they're not. Can I get an amen? Uh, <laughs> um, this is not for someone who is not over or getting over things that people have said or done to them okay this is definitely not an energy that it's i'm gonna be honest stuck in the past it this is not for that energy i want to be because this this is not that energy this is energies who are moving forward um in love and light of course um taking care of themselves as well maintaining as well because this is someone who is definitely paying a lot of attention to you um, this is someone who's loving your growth. They love kind of what you stand for. This is someone who watches you. Or they will. This is someone who definitely watches you. Um, and I honestly want to say they adore you. I can't even talk. I swear, they don't do none of this <laughs> until I hit record. But no, seriously, y'all. Um, I definitely do hope the messages resonate for y'all. And I definitely do hope the messages are overall useful for you guys. Um, please don't take this message on if it's not if it's not fitting for you. I want to be completely honest with you because, again, I'm going to be blunt and honest with you. This is not for someone who's stuck on someone from their past or wants someone from their past. It's not because I don't feel like this new energy, this Ace of Cups energy is someone from your past that hurts you. That brought up like a spiritual weekend. It's not that person. She just wants attention so bad. So we're going to end it, guys. <laughs> I definitely do hope the messages resonate for y'all. I definitely do hope the messages are overall useful for y'all. Delilah. Delilah. All right. We all know you're here. I just want attention. Y'all. Okay. I definitely do hope the messages resonate for y'all. And I definitely do hope the messages are overall useful for y'all. Again, sorry for just the background. You get what I'm saying? They're dogs. What am I going to do? You get what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but I don't know. I Because uh, this reading was very different. I didn't want it to be too much of a fantasy type of like reading. 
but I did have to be honest, but I do feel like if you are manifesting someone and you moving in love and light and you're taking care of it, like you're doing what you have to do like for yourself. You're not stuck on people from the past. You're not stuck on situations from the past. This is a moving forward energy. Like this is a getting rewarded type of like energy. Like you are about to be blessed. It feels like quote unquote, with like an opportunity again, especially in work, but especially in love. I feel like it's getting closer and closer like to you. Um, and again, this is not someone who put you in a spiritual awakening at all. Like, that's why I'm like, this is not for someone who is stuck on someone from the past and is pretending not to be, is why I said that before, but I'm gonna say it again, okay? Um, blessings to y'all. And yeah, I will see y'all next time. Bye.